What's up, guys? Uh, Odie Boy here, um, also known as It's Insane's. That is my Xbox Live gamer tag. Um, today, I'll be showing you guys the maps from the First Strike map pack. Came out February 1st, 2011, uh, for Xbox 360 right now. Um, it's not out for PS3, and it's not out in other countries from what I've heard. I have a friend who lives in Germany who he says that they don't know if they'll ever get the map pack, so. As a little info for you guys, but um, this first map right here is Berlin Wall. Um, before let's, let's, I'm just gonna get this cleared right now. No, I'm not 15th prestige. I am only fifth. Um, but I am in a private match, so that's why I have these golden guns. Cause I didn't feel like having to go online and try real hard to do good and whatnot, just so I could make a review of the maps. So. But I will probably be pulling up some commentaries and stuff on some of these maps because there's been plenty of maps like the other day. In fact, I actually got them in my file share on this game um, where I've gone like 55 and 5 um, on this map actually. Yeah, it was last night too. So, but um, that won't be it for a while. So just don't even look out for that one. You know, I don't know when I'll upload it, but um. There's a lot of cool things about this map. Um, it's actually pretty small, so like it's not small like size-wise, but it's more like close quarters stuff. Because a lot of times when you're in a building, so submachine guns are a must for this map. So, <clears throat> but and I guess I'm gonna combine tips on this map, so so I don't have to make uh, four extra videos on the same map and shit. So and the sirens sound when those turrets shoot at you. So. And if you've noticed on my mini map, there's a little red bar, box, thingy, whatever. Um, those, if you step inside those lines, these turrets will light you up like a fucking firecracker on the 4th of July, dude. It is, it is crazy. Like, you don't even have time to think. Um, and it's actually kind of hard to run across. Uh, the most effective way I've found is to throw a smoke grenade under the tower, so. See, but this map just has a lot of buildings. It's real small, or not small, like I said. It's more close quarters stuff, and here's the actual wall. Um, it's not quite what it looked like in real life, and I'm pretty sure it's thicker than that, but you guys get the idea. Um, they, they, they match pretty much all of this, just about right. So, um, but this map, like I said, submachine guns faster perks like they keep you moving constantly like um flak jacket will keep you alive if you're playing headquarters i switched to flak jacket now scavenger just isn't worth it um because i'm constantly getting killed by grenades and um and rc cars and stuff so i've switched to flak jacket and so far i've liked it um pro isn't really worth it from what i've heard it's only it only protects you from um uh fire damage so that's pretty much napalm they don't have really anything else that has fire in this game so but um in sleight of hand like I've always said keeps you reloading faster so you don't have to get killed while you're reloading and hacker is actually a pretty good thing for this map because a lot of people like to use claymores and some of those little things so you can get on top of these tanks too I didn't know about that until a while ago so that's a pretty good spot for a sentry gun for you guys who use them so Next map is Discovery. Alright. Um, again, I'm in a private match, so I'm gonna, all, all these clips are going to be in a private match, so don't uh, don't think I'm 15th prestige or nothing. But if, yeah. <clears throat> this map is also, it's kind of like a medium range map, so you can use assault rifles. In fact, you can even snipe on this map. There's quite a few long sight lines like down these sides over here and stuff but um so submachine guns um somewhat some of the more better ranged submachine guns and the more accurate submachine guns like the Spectre here um and assault rifles like the M16 that are fairly accurate and powerful or the Commando or AK-47 probably wouldn't hurt on this map and sniper rifles. Um, I don't use anything really but the L96 just because I like having bolt action rifles so that's just my personal preference. But um, see back here you got a little spot you can start camping. 
Um, you're along these sides, you've got these little rails that run the length of the map, for the most part, um, almost all of the map. Not all of it, but, y you know, you've got 90% of the map covered when you walk along those. Um, there's just a little spot, you can probably sit down to reload or something. There's a little warehouse there, that's the little pit, like on the, uh, video, the inside Xbox video. Um, I'll show you some cool things you can do over there in a little bit. Right now, I just mess around trying to find the little spot to climb up here. Um, we can camp up here. Sorry, I'm eating some chips. Fucking hungry. I haven't eaten in a while, so. But um, this is that's a good spot to sit with um, a sniper rifle or um, assault rifle because you can cover that little middle of the map, and a lot of people go there back here there's not a whole lot you can do back here um, I guess you can cover your rear end like back through these tunnels right here a little another little sight line so like I was telling you earlier there are quite a few sight lines in this game that are pretty big I'm um, in here another good spot um, for assault rifles and snipers because you can sit and see right across that bridge so there's a lot of cool little spots in the, on this map that you can used to your advantage to cover um, see there's just a bridge that's pretty much most of the map um, down here you can either use explosives or you can shoot it like that see and the map um, and there's certain spots I think I show you most of them I know there's a few spots for the caves I haven't quite figured out yet but I've gotten hit markers when I've thrown grenades and stuff up there in private matches so I'll show you that but see there's those two spots you can also blow up and then here's another little building. This one is um, connected to another one with this little walkway. This also gives you an advantage of um, sniping and assault rifles because you can see right down the middle. So, alright. Next map is Kowloon. Um, this is a little Chinese place, or it's, it's in China. Um, it takes place on the rooftops. And there are quite a few things I have to say about this map. Hold on. Um, one thing about this map is um, watching your ass, because there are almost always at least three ways to get to where you're currently at, with the exception of a few spots like right here by this ladder. Um, and people they do they do um, they I don't know what happened because most of the people I've used usually meet on Xbox are actually pretty fucking stupid and they don't know what they're talking about they're, they're talking smack and acting like hard asses so but I guess they do learn um, <laughs> but um anyways these uh, there's almost like I said there's tons of ways to get across this map like you can go I'm virtually back to where I almost started except for a few feet away here it looks like a little trash dump. You can climb up and see. You're back up here on the roofs. You just this is more of a, like this is one of those maps where you have to memorize where things are, so that way you can get around and not end up in the wrong side of the map and have you realize, oh shit, I'm on the wrong spot. But there's also these zip lines. There's two of them. There's one. There's one that goes in the opposite direction. They're both in that same building I was just at. But um, oh yeah, my heater's finally fucking kicking on. But um. And I've got sprint speed on right now, so I could walk around faster. Because I've only limited, I'm, since I'm not a YouTube partner, I'm limited to 15 minutes per video. And so I, I'm squeezing in all four maps in this one video. So Except for the Nazi Zombies map, um, I mean, you guys have to let me know if you want to see Ascension. I know there's a lot of people who have already uploaded it, so and I'm not going to not gonna try to fight them if my viewers and subscribers and people don't want to see it. So... But, and then there's back here, um, this is a kind of a headquarters camping spot. There's, the headquarters is right down that little walkway right there in the middle. Um, here's the end of one of the zip lines on top of this building. This is also another good spot for covering the headquarters while your teammates capture it. But, um, and actually shooting people off the zip lines is a lot easier than you'd think. They don't go very fast. I mean, I mean it may seem like it when you're actually doing it, but in here, here's my strafe jump fail. For any of you guys you know what a strafe jump is. Um, Dino Tactical Optics doesn't know about that, so he'll have to look that up. 
but um and uh as far as I guess my tips I'd, I'd say probably submachine guns um I, okay I took that back definitely submachine guns and possibly um assault rifles depends on the assault rifle and maybe you can get away with a few snipers like like the uh, PSG one and stuff. I know they updated that, so they're actually one hit kill now, so. But, like in those spots where I originally spawned, you, 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 there's a few little places you can see with the sniper that are pretty common, so. It's kind of your personal preference. Um, yeah, that's about it for this map. Next map is Stadium. Um, definitely not my personal favorite. I think my favorite's probably Discovery. Um, Berlin Wall is not too bad, but um, this map, you're in a hockey rink in 1972. Um, I don't think it ever actually says, I don't don't quite remember. Um, I thought I'd seen some posters in this gift shop that's off to my left right here. Um, here's a random Tomahawk win. Doesn't, doesn't kill anybody, but it's fun to throw them. Um, Here's the little gift shop along the yeah see on the on the walls there's posters I didn't I never actually took the time to look at them but you're in New York apparently I don't know if you saw that on that little poster to my right you can go back and pause it if you want here's some sped and handicap sign and then um the telephone sign I was just fucking around with those come back here be obnoxious towards these little power um, I guess fuse boxes whatever you want to call them. But now to go inside the rink, and the volume's gonna be turned up a lot so you can hear this, because. Yeah. See when you shoot that, that makes a siren. I know a lot of you guys probably didn't know that. That's a pretty little neat thing that I found. Um, again, turn the volume back down, so, like, I'm not saying you guys should, I'm saying I did, sorry, probably should have clarified that. Um, back here, you can get on top of this building through this little ladder, this is on the back side of the map, I guess opposite of the spawn of the NVA or whatever I am, communists, I guess is a simple way to say it, but, um, see, that really, there's no, there's not too many sight lines, this, this map is pretty... Pretty uh, compact, real small, nice and nice and little, fast-paced. Not like some of the other maps that Treyarch has gotten by with. And if you dive off of that, you die. I don't know why, but um. <laughs> oh, shit. I just dropped my mic. I am sorry for that, people. <laughs> but um, and then there's back here. Um, you can go upstairs right there. That's another good spot for headquarters uh, setting. Um, you can see right towards the headquarters. You can keep them off of it. Probably good to use your motion sensor. For right here, here's a way that I found that you can get up and behind people who are sitting up here. Um, that's actually pretty neat and it's real helpful. Because a lot of people like to sit up there and camp with claymores or motion sensors or jammers or whatever. Whatever it may be. Um, and uh, so yeah, and then uh, going back to the side of the map, that's pretty much all that there is for a stadium. So, but anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Um, hopefully this helps you guys maybe get used to the maps or make you decide if you want them or not. So thanks and please subscribe.